Greetings, greetings and welcome to another video. It's Saturday, 2nd of April 2022 and as you can see we're at Steeraway, Heritage of Lime Extraction in Wellington in Telford. And if you've just seen my previous video today, you'll have known that we've just explored a section of the Leakin Forest Trails, which is a small loop of a footpath which connects round to get round to each other and it turned out to be a really good thing to explore uh, I'm glad I did that it was a good thing to do I enjoyed it but while doing that previous video today I noticed something interesting which I decided that well while the weather is good at the moment and while it's still got some sunlight going on I want to double check and check out. So yeah, what we're going to do is walk up here to where we want to go. So here we are, and what I want to focus on is this style this gate here specifically which i've mentioned before in previous videos how it's a section of a telford t50 50, 50 mile trail going up this way and because of what i saw while making my previous video today i decided to take this opportunity to go up this way and consider, well, see if what I saw earlier on is actually true and what I expect to happen is that this section of path connects to the Reakin Forest Trail and if that prediction turns out to be true then this video is only going to be a shorter video but an interesting one all the same because when I previously thought about making this video on this path I'm on right now I was expecting it to go off in some long random okay long random direction and because of that, it would have been better off making a video about it independently of whatever I've been doing today. But no, like I said, it makes sense to join the dots and connect things up while I'm here. But yeah, looks like I was right. Okay, so here we are. And this path is... Oh, there's a signpost over there. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, the Telford T50 50, 50 mile trail goes off in that direction to my right but what I want to do is focus on going left at the moment so we can connect up with what's going on and yeah shouldn't shouldn't be surprised by this but, like I say, I found it really interesting all the same. So yeah, let's uh, carry on to the end of this path. And if you've seen my previous video, then you'll know where we're going here. So yeah. So 
so yeah here we are uh, as we just saw in my previous video this is where we ended my previous video exploring a section of the Hutchison Way and the Leakin Forest Trails okay So, as we saw in my previous video, that path in front of us right now is part of the Reekin Forest Trail and we've already explored it in my previous video today so we know how that works out. And also, we see the road in front of us, well down that way is where we both started and ended my previous video today and also started the video I am currently making okay so what we're going to do from here is head back to that gate so here we are Right, what I want to do is head back along this path here to where we were a few minutes ago and at that point I'm going to explain the plan from there. So yeah, nice one. So here we are, back on this path. And yeah, to be honest, uh, this has proved more interesting than I expected it was going to be, to be honest. I'm glad I made the effort to be out and about today. It's really good. So, yeah. Okay, so here we are, at the path we started this video on. This path here is part of the Telford T50 50, 50 mile trail, and going back that way takes us back to the start of this video. However, where's that signpost gone? Yeah, okay, here we are. This is what we want to look at. The Telford T50 50, 50 mile trail goes in this direction here it goes off along this way so yeah and here we see the signpost we saw in a previous video today okay as you can see the Telford T50 50, 50 mile trail turns to our left. Okay, that's clear, it turns to our left. Which goes off in this direction, which we explored in my previous video today, uh, is also part of the Reekin Forest Trail. Okay. Now, what I had first thought, basically, right? Do you see the path in front of us now? Okay. My first thought, what I suspected to begin with, was that the Telford T50 50, 50 mile trail goes off in that direction there but apparently it doesn't what it instead does in fact according to this signpost the Telford T50 50, 50 mile trail in fact 
takes this path to my left and loops around following the path I explored in my previous video today. So that's really interesting. That's really good to know. And from this point onwards, the Telford T50 mile trail takes us back toward New Works and takes, takes us back toward the Reakin Forest Trail back in that direction behind us there. So, with that in mind, where exactly does that path go? As I've just discovered, it's not part it is not part of the Telford T fifty mile trail after all. But what it is in fact, as we can see, according to the signposts, it is part of the Leakin Forest Trail. Off in that direction. So yeah. Well, one way or the other, I am going to come back here on another day to explore that path in front of me, basically. Um, but to be honest, I think today, well, right now, as I make this video, it's approximately 6 p.m. in the evening, which means I've got about an hour or an hour and a half maximum of daylight left before it starts going dark so I think it'll be the best thing to do if I come back here another day perhaps and explore that way properly but with that in mind that being said what I'm going to do is follow the Telford T 50 mile trail in this direction and just come back around this way Yes, I know I've already explored this path in my previous video, but considering uh, the plan was to follow the Telford T50 mile trail, it just makes sense to loop around and just follow it properly instead of just drop off. Besides, if nothing else, this path I'm on is a really beautiful path. It's gorgeous. And then we've got nice weather going on today. So, I may as well make the most of it and enjoy what I've got in front of me. So, yeah. So here we are, exploring the Telford T50 mile trail, which is also, at the same time, a section of the uh, Reakin Forest Trail. And yeah. So here's the log we saw with well, a fallen tree in my previous video. We saw in my previous video, so yeah.
as I've said before, I'm really glad uh, I've ended up making these YouTube videos. And I really appreciate everyone who watches my videos. So yeah. Thank you, everyone. I really, I really do enjoy it when, like now, like today, you've got different nature trails and different public footpaths which all converge onto the same route, okay? Uh, because the way I see it, well, yeah, sometimes... I, feel, oh, I don't know why it happens, I don't know why it happens, but when you think you start in one path, and when like today you don't know where it's going to lead you, and then all of a sudden it brings you to a path you've either explored previously or wanted to explore at some other time in the future, you know, when, it, when we all converge... It's good to see options brought together to make it easier for you to explore the places you want to explore, to make it more interesting for you to explore the places you want to explore. So yeah, I think this has been one of those times. Here in Steeraway, I've had several options of different places I wanted to explore and at first I thought they all went off in completely different and completely unrelated directions but no uh, when they converge like they have done today in my opinion at least it makes things makes things more interesting and makes things easier to connect the dots and all that so yeah all right so uh yeah there we are there's something interesting up ahead so let's uh check that out So here we are at the uh, metal gates that we saw in my previous video. Okay. Now here's the thing. In this video that I'm making right now, we are following the Telford T50 50 mile trail. Okay. And so from this point, as you can see, the Telford T50 50 mile trail is going right. Now, the Telford T50 50, 50 mile trail does point back along this path here, which is the path we are currently walking. If we were, if, if we were to follow the Telford T50 50 mile trail back in that direction, it will, it will take us back to where we started this video I'm making right now. So obviously we're not going to go back that way. Instead, what we're going to do is look at the signpost and go follow the sign for the Telford T50 mile trail this way to our right. And as you can see, we've got another signpost over there which we're going to have another look at so yeah 
As you can see, this signpost takes us in one of two different directions. Going to our right here is part of the Reakin Forest Trail. And I did explore this path in a previous video, but to be honest, I think I'll... It, it would be nice to come back here again in a future video on another day. But, we'll wor but we will worry about that on an another day, basically. That's for a future video. But as you can see, the Telford T50 50, 50 mile trail, which we want to focus on in this video, follows the path to our left. Okay. So, yeah. Now, again, this path, which... This path to the left, which I'm walking at the moment, I have again explored in a previous video, uh, back in January, I think it was, when I was exploring new works. Uh, so, yeah. I'm not going to explore the entire path, but there is somewhere along here which I would like to briefly have a look at. So let's have a look at that. Okay, as you can see, there's a fence in front of us and a gate. Let's take a closer look at that. As you can see, you've got this gate that you need to climb over if you want to travel any further along the path in front of us. And as you can see, the path in front of us is part of the Hutchinson Way, the short wood walk, and most important, most importantly, because it's part of the, well, because it's the focus of this video I'm making today, it's part of the Telford T50 50, 50 mile trail. And if you want to follow the Telford T50 50, 50 mile trail any further, like I say, you need to climb over this gate and travel along the path in front of you there. Now, I'm not going to travel any further along this path. Uh, mostly because I've already explored this path in a previous video back in January, I think it was, when I was exploring new works. So, yeah. Um, there we are. I don't know if I want to come back here again on another day, sometime in the future, to remake or... Well, not remake that video, but to explore the path again that might be something worth doing coming back here again to explore again but that's for a different video sometime in the future i have not yet decided if i'm going to do that or not but like i said the point is as things stand i've already gone that way during video four videos back in january so yeah so what i'm going to do now is basically turn back this way and travel back along here as you can see we're back at the metal gate we were at a couple of minutes ago okay so what we're going to do
Uh, as I've already said, back that way is part of the uh, Telford T50 50 mile trail. So what we're going to do instead is come down this way. And yeah, we're going to come down this way to the end of the path in front of me here. So we're back on the main road in front of us here and as you can see around us are the footpaths we've already explored today. So yeah, we've explored sections of the uh, Reekin Forest Trail and the Telford T50 50, 50 mile trail, so good times. What I'm going to do now is head down the road back to where we started this video. So, yeah, let's carry on. So, here we are back where we started today's video and it's been a productive day it's been good this afternoon I explored a section of the Reekin Forest Trail and I also explored a section of the uh, Telford T50 50 mile trail which didn't go the way I expected it would but all the same it was a really good thing to do and yeah I enjoyed that. I enjoyed exploring both footpaths today. So on that note, I'm going to finish this video here. Uh, as usual, thank you everyone for watching my video today. I really do appreciate it. Uh, by all means, if you liked this video, share it to your friends, to your family. Share it to total strangers if you want. To anyone you think might be interested in the videos that I make. So yeah, thank you. In the meantime, just take care of yourselves, be safe, have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon in my next video. It would be good to come back here again to explore other sections of, of the uh, Varekin Forest Trail well, I'll have to think about that one, see how it go, see how it works out. In the meantime, there are other other ideas, other places I want to explore. But yeah, we'll talk about that at the time. Until then, like I said, be safe, take care, and I'll see you all soon in the next video.